Good morning and welcome to the Scottish Highlands. This is the first time that I've been out of the Grampian region since lockdown and what a joy it is to be here. And this morning is super exciting because it marks the official re-beginning of my lighthouse photography mission. I've come over to a part of the Highlands known as the Black Isle and a lighthouse that I've never, never photographed before. I'm super excited for this. Lovely early morning beautiful lighthouse. Let the photography begin. come to this morning is known as Channonry Point. Now many people have probably heard of Channonry Point because it's one of the best places in the whole of Scotland for seeing dolphins. In fact the dolphins here breach very close to the shore and you can often see them jumping up and catching salmon at literally just meters away from you. But it's also home to a lighthouse, Channonry Lighthouse. And that's obviously what I'm here this morning to photograph. Now it's a bit unfortunate, I've obviously come up here for sunrise and the weather is very, very overcast. We've barely, in fact we've not got a break in the clouds at all. But I'm not that bothered to be honest because I'm kind of hoping that it will create that misty atmospheric look over the mountains behind the lighthouse itself. And it's just a sheer, a sheer joy just to be out this morning and to have recommenced this lighthouse mission. I've just taken a few shots just sort of basic shots of the lighthouse itself with the light flashing so that I don't miss that and I'm just going to walk around now and see if I can find a slightly different composition. I'm trying to incorporate the mountains in my shot, you know the iconic Scottish Highland mountains in the background but um, they are quite far away so they're not that obvious but uh, yeah it's gonna be a challenging morning this morning due to the lack of light but still a thoroughly enjoyable one I imagine. lighthouses I always think one of the most important stories to tell is the story of where that lighthouse is situated. Now every lighthouse is situated on an exciting peninsula or island and they nearly always are in places, in fact they are always in places that are generally speaking sheer beautiful, sheer beautiful places with a lot going for them. So here this morning because we've not got the light I'm trying to focus more on the scene itself. The fact that this lighthouse is on this peninsula here, overlooking the Murray Firth, like I say, with iconic Highland Mountains in the background, this lovely shingle beach, and just overlooking the scene in front of me. So that's what I'm really trying to focus on this morning, just to give an idea of place, and the uniqueness, I guess, of this lighthouse, and the wall and everything that surrounds it. And, like I say, we're probably not going to get that light, but it's still nice to be out and uh, showcasing this lighthouse in its beautiful spot. So if any of you are out photographing lighthouses at some point, it's uh, you know one of the best things you can do is just to show off where that lighthouse actually is in contrast to everything else. And the great thing about being up so early this morning is there's very few people around apart from a few fishers on the pier that resides beside the lighthouse, which actually adds a really nice, nice interest to the image too and a sort of human element to show the scale of this place as well, which is really, really nice. See, I'm just snapping away here, just taking a few shots, just incorporating the lighthouse into its scene and uh, seeing what I can come up with.
conventional of images because I'm cutting off the majority of the lighthouse but one of the unique things I think about this lighthouse specifically is this wall that runs around it. I think it's beautiful, it's got lovely patterns in it in many ways, just you know the way the bricks and that have been laid it's a more, it's one of the unique aspects of this lighthouse and its surroundings. So what I've done is I've come here and I'm literally level with the the corner of the wall and it's going up through the centre of the lighthouse itself. Turned my camera into portrait orientation and it's allowing me to get something a little bit different and unique I think with the lighthouse popping out through like I say the corner of this wall. Like I say not the most conventional of images because I am cutting off the majority of the lighthouse but I'm trying to get something unique this morning and something that tells a story especially as I say with the not the most favourable of weather conditions but it's showing the mood, it's showing the atmosphere and it's showing the beauty that surrounds the lighthouse itself and the uniqueness of this one. Because at the end of the day as I'm doing this lighthouse mission it's important I guess that I document not only the lighthouse itself but everything that surrounds it and the unique aspects of each lighthouse to sort of showcase them above all the other ones. So. A little bit of a different image here, but um, I hope you like it. The, the variety of shots that you can get of this lighthouse is quite minimal and I think not having the light this morning is making it a little bit more challenging but I'm enjoying walking around it and trying to find different compositions and showcasing the story of it like I see in its location and everything so now that I've taken a good mix of images of the lighthouse itself with the beautiful scenery around it and the, the wall over there too it's now time for me to set up a shot with me in it, get another one of my signature shots of me with the lighthouse as part of my lighthouse photography mission portfolio to showcase me interacting with these amazing man-made structures that have so much history, heritage and amazing stories attached to them and that are situated in these epic coastal locations. morning's been fun. I mean I'm sure a lot of people who if they you know got out of bed at half past three in the morning and drove up to the highlands for a sunrise shoot and never really got a sunrise they'd be disappointed but it's actually just been so nice to come out this morning. It's really warm, really mild, there's not much wind, it's uh, although it's really cloudy it's a beautiful morning to be out, hardly anybody around and another lighthouse ticked off my lighthouse photography mission which is really really nice. Of course every lighthouse I go to I would like to go home with an epic image with beautiful lights to really showcase the scene but this morning wasn't meant to be one of those mornings but like I said it doesn't matter because it's just so nice to be out and to be doing this and to be starting the day in such a lovely location with a lighthouse and uh, yeah Channery Point Lighthouse. Pick. That's that off the list now. Another lighthouse off the list, still several, several more to go but uh, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what lighthouse I end up at next. I was hoping to do the one in Aberdeen but unfortunately Aberdeen are in lockdown again so I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get into Aberdeen to do that but 
fingers crossed I'll end up back here in the Highlands again in a month or so's time all going to plan and we can get some more lighthouses ticked off the list. I hope you enjoyed this morning it's been nice relaxing very chilled vlog probably quite a quick vlog but a thoroughly enjoyable one regardless. As always I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.